Hey everybody, my name's Frank from the City of Kings, and today I'm going to be talking about the inspiration for the game. And to do this, we need to look back all the way to my childhood, when I used to play a lot of video games. Now, I've always played lots of different games, I've never been one of these people who has a specific taste, but I did play a lot of RPGs. The Final Fantasy series for the PlayStation, um, Fantasy Star Online for the Dreamcast, gave me a lot of highly expensive phone bills, and World of Warcraft, Guild Wars, the Star Wars MMORPG, all these big games where you kind of go on an adventure, you journey through this ongoing story, and you customise your character, you build up something that is unique to you, and with it, you kind of adventure through this world. And I always wanted to make my own RPG game, I always wanted to play, uh, make some sort of MMORPG, and a few times I kind of try to, but as you can imagine, making a big video game is quite a complicated thing to do on your own. And then... Over recent years, I started playing a lot of modern board games, and as I played these games, I got familiar with different kind of concepts. So if I remember um, Eclipse, and the first time I played Eclipse, and having this big character sheet in front of me, and the ability to kind of upgrade my ships, learn new technologies, I took over the kind of whole universe, exploring and expanding, I had an income system to manage, and I just remember all of this customization that was open to me, and just kind of thinking, wow, this, this is really, really complex, but it allows me to do a lot. And I also played more games, and I kind of came to the cooperative nature of um, Forbidden Desert and Pandemic. And these games made me realise you can play games together, it's not just against each other. And that kind of got me thinking quite a bit. And I also played more games. Um, recently, Pandemic Legacy has this amazing concept that makes you just want to keep playing over and over and keep coming back to that game. I remember as a child you would kind of play a game on a Friday night and then the whole weekend you'd be playing it and at school you'd be oh you know you want to get home and rush home to keep playing it because you want to see what happens you want to progress and you want to beat it and Pandemic Legacy gave me that feeling for the first time. Um, Dead of Winter gave you the concept of different lengths in a game and different difficulties. We have expansions and all these things just kind of ring bells in my head about these are video game concepts that have been around for years but I'm just getting familiar with them in the board game world over the last three or four years. So what if I took the game that I've wanted to play for years and I turn it into a board game? So we started thinking about how does this work? How do we do character customization? How do we do item management? How do we do creatures? How do we create this immersive world and tell this story? And really that's where the City of Kings came to be. That was the original thoughts. We want to take that RPG nature of all the video games we've played and turn it into a board game. People who have spent many years playing online RPGs are going to be familiar with some of these gameplay concepts which aren't necessarily so typical in a board game world, but we're hoping to introduce them. So the inspiration for the game? The 20 years of RPGs and video games with a hybrid of modern board game game mechanics bringing them together. Thanks a lot for listening and please leave any questions in the comments. See you soon!